Yeah, it's your boy Hot Tech. It's Tyler Quali, the MCEO. And you are checking out Guerrilla Journalism in a place to be in the house. Coming soon to a TV theater, website, blog, whatever it is near you. Twitter that. When we did the Black Star album, we um had just uh, lined up with Ruckus Records and uh, Hot Tech, Most Def, J. Rawls, my man Rich Mason. We all went out to L.A. Most Def was working on a TV show or something he was working on. We all went to, out to Los Angeles and, and just started the recording process. And the songs that you hear on the Black Star album is the exact songs that we recorded. We didn't record no extra songs. We just presented what we recorded. Yeah, and I gotta be totally honest, like, with those songs, like, a couple of the songs, like, even the single, like, Definition and Redefinition, we had to re-record those songs because when we initially Bob. did those songs, like, we, re, we when we initially did them, like, we had a... Like the engineering was fucked up, so we had to re record them and all that. So, you know, it's like just, just the whole drive of that whole process was just, was just crazy. And we made sure, we, you know, we made it happen. <laughs> Well, I just feel like you gotta give it your all, you know, you gotta um, practice make perfect like we were saying. You gotta get your hours in and you gotta make sure that you really grind. And there's a lot of MCs who are considered conscious and positive, but they not nice with it, you know. And you gotta just be master your craft, whatever you talk about, you know. You could be like Eminem talking about killing your moms. You could be like Talib Kweli and talk about whatever I talk about. It don't matter as long as you're nice with it, you know. And I think that, um, you know, me and High Tech is two different people, but we have a respect, a mutual respect for the music and what it takes to, to, to make it the way it's supposed to sound. Which makes us one person. <laughs> Word. I mean, I think, I think at the end of the day, you really have to uh, understand that this. Uh, I always have two, three different thoughts have going through my mind, you know. But initially, you definitely have to remember that. You know, you have to have love for what you're doing first. And then remember, not, don't don't really take it so serious. You know what I'm saying? Like, the whole beef and everything that's going on with hip-hop right now, it's so personal. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you have a business. You know what I'm saying? Then you have a personal part that you feel for the love of what you're doing. You know what I mean? So, you got to remember to keep love for what you're doing, the art of it. So that's my whole thing, like keep the love for the art of, of the with hip hop, you know what I mean? That's my thing with hip hop. Come on. Uh, yeah. 
for the streets, for the cars, for the niggas who be counting the ones. I done had a lot of fun, I've been across the world about damn near twice. The only thing I can tell you is when you spit, bring the truth to the light. Fist to the fight, nerds to the fight, whole lot of wind to the fight. People better put in hard work, number one, don't get caught up in the heist. I done been through a lot of pain, trying to get up in this game, and in my whole life. Be the first one to take it, nigga, you ain't good, you know I can go to ice. Yeah, come on.